five two victory at Leighton Orient, Danny. How do you assess that one? Yeah, I think lot to be lot lot to be pleased with. We, you know, particularly offensively, I think we scored five really good goals, create some really good chances, and we're really clinical when we, when we did create those chances. So it's great for for Joe Piggott to get to get two goals and off the mark. A uh, lovely goal from Marlon, two good assists from Rico. So yeah, some some, some real positives from the, from their offensive performance. We're always disappointed to concede, particularly two goals. Um, both goals were kind of avoidable for us. A little bit of a um, lack of organisation in the second phase from a long throw for the first goal and the second goal, yeah, it was just, um, just an individual error really. It was a soft cross and we should have just dealt with it and we didn't and uh, unfortunately we conceded. But um, yeah, if you're going to concede two, I suppose score five, but, but no, always disappointed to, con to concede goals. Pre-season's obviously about match sharpness, but how good is it to see your team scoring that many? Yeah, of course, really good. You know, I've got fond memories of I call it Brisbane Road, it's probably not called that now, but um, yeah, I've got fond memories of this place and obviously Justin Edinburgh is someone that I knew really, really well, so I'm just looking up at the Justin Edinburgh stand now, what a good man, what a real football man he was and a lovely family, so privileged to be back here, Nicky and I would have come here a lot, as West Ham fans, you kind of went to West Ham uh, one week and then you go to Leighton or in the other week, so yeah, nice to be back here, um, some, some, some good performances, I think start to see some partnerships and relationships building which is which is a positive but but still lots of work to do lovely tribute there to justin edever obviously former pompey man back to tonight though let's talk about joe piggott how did you see his performance obviously two goals yeah good he's he's a good player isn't he he's got he's got really good link and combination skills playing to me so soft with his with his first touch and he has just had this lovely way he kind of caresses the ball um, and and he's a really good finisher and he's got that kind of single-minded edge that number nines need and I thought um, two really good goals fantastic ball first first up from from Rico and I think we're calling him Charles B aren't we for the, for the second goal really good cross and, uh, and, a, and a lovely finish. Welcome to tomorrow what are you hoping to get out of that test? Well, I think we're really looking forward to going to Bognor. It's a club that, that we're really fond of, we think a lot of. Um, we've been really appreciative of the relationship we've built. Obviously, some of our young players, Dan Gifford, Alfie Bridgman, Harvey Hughes, um, were, were all playing for Bognor last year and did really well for them. So it'd be great for us to go there tomorrow. I think it's a great night for us as a club. We're, all the boys that didn't start tonight will, will play tomorrow, um, accompanied with some academy players. And you know we'll take all of the academy staff. And I think it's really important for us to kind of keep trying to, to build a relationship between the first team and the academy. I think we are, you know, we're, we're trying to align how we work in the football department so that when the young players transition into the into the first team, that that transition can be smooth. And we can do that by using similar training drills, by having similar organisation from set pieces, having similar protocol on match day, all of these finer details just help the young players that when they do step up, they're not worrying about new match day protocol or new set pieces, they've kind of already learnt these and they can really concentrate on their performance and, and that will certainly help the younger ones when they, when they come through.